dear brothers and sisters wishes in the mighty name of jesus jesus is our redeemer there is no salvation in any other for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which it is necessary for us to be saved except the apostles chapter 4 verse 12 Christ died for us therefore having been justified now by his blood all the more so shall we be saved from wrath through him Romans chapter 5 verse 9 The God of all graces who has called us to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus will himself perfect confirm and establish us 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 10 You are of God and so you have overcome him for he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world 1 John chapter 4 verse 4 So be humbled under the powerful hand of God so that he may exalt you in the time of visitation 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 6 You are listening to the voice of the gospel the voice of the gospel August 3rd Friday 17th week of ordinary time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St Matthew chapter 13 verses 54 to 58 He came to his hometown and began to teach the people in their synagogue so that they were astonished and said Where did this man get this wisdom and these deeds of power Is not this the carpenter's son is not his mother called Mary and are not his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Judas where then did this man get all this and they took offense to him but Jesus said to them prophets are not without honor except in their own country and in their own house and he did not do many deeds of power there because of their unbelief the gospel of the lord my dear friends in jesus christ a lord jesus faced a severe testing when he returned to his hometown not simply as a carpenter's son but now as a rabbi with his disciples preaching in the synagogue and worship of the custom of jesus and occasions to read the scripture and a comment on them to the people his own town people listened to jesus because they had heard about the miracles he had performed in their own town and they might have waited for a sign or miracles because he had done in the villages what sign would he do in his hometown that is the question mark for them Jesus known very well that no prophet can receive honor among his own people. In the same way people of Nazareth took offense at him and refused to him what he had to say. Here we can see how familiarity can breed mistaken contempt. Jesus could do no mighty works in their midst because they were closed and disbelieving towards him we can see luke chapter 7 verses 11 to 17 when jesus brought back the life of the widow's son at 9 the people of that area saw and fear seized all of them and they said that a great prophet has risen among us and god has looked favorably on his people And another miracle we can say in John Gospel chapter 6 verse 1 to 15 When Jesus multiplied five loaves of bread and two fish people with joy and happiness came towards Jesus and wanted to make him as a king Yeah but in Nazareth the situation is different the people of Nazareth could not imagine the Messiah as poor as one like them as one similar to them in all things 
except a sin. Faith means to acknowledge the Lord's presence. To acknowledge Him requires honesty, humility and openness. If not, then we are more than capable of making some horrible conclusions based on erroneous, prideful and closed assumptions. Yes, they are stunned at Him and yet they refuse to acknowledge Him. In many places, Jesus said when He cured the sick people, Your faith has made you well. But here, Jesus would not see their faith. Today, my dear friends, it is for us to decide how we should respond to the love of God revealed in Jesus and proclaim Him with our own lives. Sometimes we may say, I know very well Jesus Christ, His teachings, from where He is coming, where He lived, etc. But today, my dear friends, today itself make a decision that Jesus is my Savior. I must see Him in others and respect their good deeds. Amen.